possession of illegal or dangerous weapons. Two middle-aged women appeared from nowhere in the congregation, brandishing kitchen knives, apparently in attempt to commit suicide. There is a woman here. This woman we want to kill herself. And you are there with a knife. Your years are 50, 53 years. And I'm seeing you, Messi is your name. You want to kill yourself. The, the knife are there with you. The knife is a small knife. You want to kill an old woman. 53. It's not too old, but it's old, like an old woman. Come out with your knife. I want to see that woman. If you don't come, I will go and catch you. Alors, nom de Dieu, dit, <laughs> une femme, il se voit une femme qui dit. Come out, look there, look there. Sois sapé. Elle est avec un couteau et désire se suicider. What is that? What is that? Eh? I'm tired of this word. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to die. What am I doing this word? What am I doing this word? Oh. Holy Ghost! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. Why do you want to kill yourself? Why that man for? Why am I like this? I'm tired of this word. No husband. No. No. No children. Eh? No. Nothing, nothing, no job. They used to oppress me in my dream. They used to attack me. Why am I dream? What am I doing? This world again. Let me go good time. Let me do Why you want to come and die here? Why yeah? Why yeah? Why yeah? Why yeah? this world. Jesus. I am seeing another woman. Hey. Your name is called Togere. You are an angel woman. You carry two knives. Two. You want to kill yourself. You said you want to die for a former local government chairman. A former local government chairman of Bomandi. Because he don't want to pay you. That's why you want to die with two knives. Come aside. <laughs> hey! Holy Ghost! Fire! Il voit une autre femme qui désire également se suicider. Ah waouh! Avec ses dégoûtés parce qu'elle n'a pas reçu. Merci là. You, why you want to kill yourself, that woman? Why you carry those two knives? A man is showing me for that six years. He took my Yamaha device, which I was using for Riverland area. To sustain my life, he said he said. Nami carry your, Nami carry your money. Why you want to kill yourself? I cannot do anything to my children for my children. Eh? I don't tire. You don't tire for Oh yeah, I don't So if I don't tire, I mean I cannot be eating. Why you want to die for the local government chairman? When I get there, they said he had talks to kill me. Eh? That was what talks. That was why I went to Abuja to see because it was Nicholas Mutu that made him to become local government chairman. I went to Abuja to see local government and Nicholas Mutu. Nicholas Mutu, that first man, would go chase me out of legislative. That's why you want to kill yourself. <laughs> hey, you, why you want to come and die here? I'm tired of this one. <laughs> All the way from what I said there. Eh? In Lori. Say so what to call Why yeah? <laughs> the man of God had to call on someone, preferably a police officer, to say what the law says about prohibition of dangerous or illegal weapons or firearms. Police! Come and tell me the offense of bringing knife into a house of God. Want to kill themselves? What is offense? The offense is the consequence is the penalty is uh, life imprisonment. Life imprisonment for carrying knife. The man of God had to state categorically possession of a prohibited dangerous weapon 
is a criminal offense and can result in penalties that can range anywhere from a class 1 misdemeanor to up to class 4 felony. These charges can come with several months in jail up to a minimum mandatory penitentiary. The man of God says he does not subscribe to criminal or evil acts and his money will not go to such person. It's better for you to now pray to God, say, God of Jeremiah, touch me all. One day, this God that will make me to see you, your case today, will open your case to me. Now, listen, if I help these people today, yeah, all the world will come here. I'm not going to help you people. How you carry a knife? You are demons. You people are demons. You cannot hear my name. You cannot spoil my name. Why you carry this knife to the church? Why you want to spoil your name? You, do you hear the, the offense? Nigerian offense. The thing that if anybody carry knife into the house of God, life imprisonment. If I help these people, all Nigeria worry. Me, you know Rosibio, no five cobo. They have done the greatest mistake. Tomorrow they will carry gun. Now bomb, they will carry gun. <laughs> five cobo, no go touch them. No.